Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with a vlog because it's time for me to address my relationship with State of Decay 2. At this point, every time I've been playing since before the first hiatus and now, I usually come away from the game angry. Really, the only time I wasn't upset was getting the new base. But every time I come away from the game now, I'm upset at it. Things that should be working just aren't. As you saw multiple times, sometimes hits didn't connect due to collision with an item I was next to or whatnot. Uh, inputs that I was putting in and I'm sure in some cases was doing it quite audibly on my controller just weren't actually coming out and at this point I'm having trouble with the game itself rather than just the difficulty of Dread Zone which has made me get rid of the intro entirely that I used to have. The game itself breaks every time I play it. And I don't want to have this channel be about me being angry at games. I want this channel to be me enjoying games for you guys and myself. And it seems with State of Decay 2 in its current condition, it's just not possible. I just don't know what else to do. Every time I play it, I come away upset. I try, I try to just play it based on the merits, but difficulty alone isn't doing me in. It is difficulty and the game. I, I'll give Sekiro as a great example. The difficulty of the game, but the preciseness of the controls, means that every fuck up that I make is on me. I screwed it up. I didn't follow through the way I was supposed to play, and I get burned for it. When it comes to State of Decay 2, it can be a 50-50 shot. Either the input I put in didn't go through, or the game's difficulty was the one that got me. And sometimes it's, most of the time, it's a combo of the two. And I cannot keep dealing with this. This is making me angry every time I play. Sekiro, at least when I play it, I can understand it's my fault. With State of Decay, sometimes it's just not my fault. I get screwed over by some function of the game that didn't work as designed. And I'm sick and tired of trying to fight the game while trying to play the game. I don't know if it has something to do with the engine. I don't know if it has something to do with the coding or a combination of the two. I know that other games on Unreal Engine 4 have worked markedly better than what I'm currently seeing. There's also a lot of games that are really shitty on Unreal Engine 4, but this is just in the middle of the road enough to be upsetting between I don't even know how to describe it. The game design, when it works as intended, works great. When the game design fails, it fucks you up. And that's not fair. You shouldn't get punished for the game breaking. And that seems to be all I get out of State of Decay 2 now. 
when it came to patch 8, I was willing to give it another chance. But it doesn't seem to be working. The patches have not fixed some of the fundamental problems that have been plaguing State of Decay 2 since launch. A lot of them may be engine-based. I don't know. I don't know enough game design stuff to actually say for sure. What I do know is the game itself in some situations can be unplayable. And when you're supposed to be ramping up the difficulty in ways that at least should challenge you, you shouldn't have to also be fighting the game to be able to play it. And that's all I've ever had to deal with with State of Decay 2 for a while. You might have also noticed it at the end of the regular playthrough. I was starting to get, to get annoyed at the game's shenanigans with me. It was not registering hits, inputs were not coming out correctly, and this has been a problem in even the main game. At least in the main game, it didn't outright punish you for it. Now, you can have your characters die because the game decided it didn't want to work the way it's intended. And that's unfair. I don't want to keep dealing with this. I don't want to keep coming away from this game angry. The games I've come away angry from, I stop playing after a while. And I don't want that to happen with State of Decay. I love this series. I love its concept. But whatever it is about the game engine or the game's design coding, whatever, in the engine, it just doesn't work the way you want it to. Sekiro, its difficulty is at least complemented with good controls so that it's on you for fucking up. State of Decay it can be a 50-50 shot. And that shouldn't be acceptable. It's not acceptable to me. That is not how a game should be designed. That is not how a game should be played. And I know there are people who are able to pull off crazy stuff in State of Decay 2, and I get that. I might not be good enough to pull off some of those things, but I shouldn't have to be fighting the game controls at the same time. I have no idea how they manage it when I'm having such a difficult time with it. But that's neither here nor there. What I'm saying is, I don't want to keep putting out games and videos where I'm getting angry at the game. I want to enjoy them just as I have you enjoy it with me. I want to like putting these videos out and with State of Decay 2 I've started to dislike doing that. I just don't know what else to do. I might have to wait until it's in a more playable state with less problems than what I'm currently getting. I'm getting people falling out of the sky and getting splatted onto the ground and then getting up and then walking away for no reason. I'm having followers disappear and then reappear whenever they damn well please. I'm having hits not connect because I got stuck on collision. I'm having inputs not going through. These are things that are not acceptable for a game that had the resources behind it that State of Decay 2 did. And I'm just, I don't want to keep dealing with this anymore. I don't want to keep being angry at this anymore. Fallout 76, I've stopped that series because I cannot keep playing a game that is essentially a grind fest. I'll admit. I'm okay with that, but I don't want to keep putting that on camera. 
At some point, it's just a grind fest, and I don't like putting you through that. So I stopped doing that. Destroy all humans. That becomes a grind fest near the end of it. Not as much a grind fest, more of a just a sloppy, put-together mess that probably is indicative of the, its development cycle. I don't know. I didn't look into it. But I know that at a certain point, I stopped wanting to play it. And then we all know about the difficulties Fable 3 has been having on the emulation. Fable 2 had it near the end of the emulation. Uh, I don't know what happened there. I don't know why Fable 3 is having such a difficult time. But that makes me not want to play it because the game is just breaking slowly. And it's just... It's a similar situation. Not exactly the same, but it's similar. I don't like putting out games where I'm not enjoying them. I want to enjoy them with you. And if I can't do that, I don't want to put out the video. I've been really trying, you guys. I understand it sounds like I'm ragging on the game. I noticed someone un unsubbed because it probably I sound like I'm ragging on the game. I get that. I understand that. In my anger, I might be going a little too hard on State of Decay 2, but that's because I love the concept and I love the game so much. I want it to work properly, and it's just not. So as it stands for right now, it's on hiatus until it's in a more playable state that I can actually handle Dread Zone with it and not have to fight it every step of the way. And in the meantime, I don't know, I've been meaning to play Witcher 3. I've had that on the back burner for like ever. I guess I could do that. I could go back to State of Decay 1. That one's marginally less buggy. I could do that. It's just... State of Decay 2 is a mess. And I want to keep going on with the stories I have with these people. But it just... It's difficult. It's difficult to do with the current state of the game. So, this is the final statement on the whole thing. I'm putting State of Decay on hiatus, or at least State of Decay 2, until the game is in a playable state that doesn't make me have to fight it every step of the way. I don't know when that will be. I had high hopes for the last patch to do that. It didn't happen. At least not in the way that made it actually enjoyable. I just don't know what else to say. In the meantime, I'll replace it with something I might actually enjoy. It's hard to say. So. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. Shout out to SVS on YouTube and Raj Kamal on Patreon for supporting my Patreon and thus supporting the channel. I very much appreciate it. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat. Playing games, blogging, and... Just having to put my feelings on State of Decay 2 out there because I like the game concept, but the game controls and some places the design just doesn't work. And I don't want to put videos out that I don't enjoy them until it does. For you.